Okay, hey everybody, I am standing in front of my shiny collection. Um, this is in my my new apartment and this is the setup that I have. Um, it's a little bit more organized than it was before, but I'm still not too satisfied and I decided to build a display case. And one of the reasons why, well I have multiple reasons why I wanted to build a display case. First of all, if you look down here, maybe it's a little better if I get down here. Oh, that was my knee cracking. <laughs> but like, you can't really tell on camera, but like, it looks a little bit more even on camera, but in actuality, like, oh yeah, okay, you see how like these move? Like, they're really unstable. These, um, these, these bookcases were really great when I got them and aesthetically they were definitely what I was looking for but practically not so much um they've endured like a mid-country move so I guess they're not that bad but yeah I don't know like see how this one is leaning so much that it's like all the way over here and there's like this gap um another issue that I was finding is because everything is open um I have to dust everything all the time also, this <laughs> this little guy fell. Whoops. I don't know why I'm setting it back up. I'm literally about to take it all down. Um, but yeah, like, I, I have to dust everything. So everything up here, I would always have to dust and get inside the glasses. And then down here, I would have to dust all of these still, too. And I just, it was too much. Um, and... Yeah, I was just like, this is, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> um, so I wanted to change it for that. Also, I needed a little bit more space. Now, I'm pretty limited because here's the wall. And then over here, I have um, my window. So in terms of like, I don't have any more space I can get width-wise, um, which is pretty unfortunate. But I do gain some space with the new display cabinets that I built. So if you look here, there are several inches. This is like maybe six inches right here that's just unused space due to the gap, but also due to the bars right here. Um, I won't have that issue with my new cases. Also, the same issue. So many, so much space is lost here on the side where there are... Um, like the, the the arms or the legs or you know there's the bars holding up the structure um another thing that i wanted to change um was i thought it'd be really nice if i had like something up here like a display light um which i guess i could have installed in these but like i said these things are trash so <laughs> it just really wouldn't work also you might be able to tell in the back but they don't have a back so I, I feel like I'm really limited with the setup that I can do just because I'm scared that something's gonna fall back there. So I now have the task of moving. Just give me a little update on the, oh goodness, what is this? <laughs> totally blanking. Um, give you a little update about the shelves. I went ahead and put the shelves together. So I have two of these muscle racks, as you can see. Um, I don't have the shelves in here because I, I needed to cut them to allow space on the sides for the cords right here. Space right here on the sides. Ooh, can you see? Yeah, for the cords to go through. For the cords to go through, for the lights. Um, so, and I also need to put, like, upholster the, the shelves, and the shelves are right there. Um, so I need to upholster the shelves, but just to show you something else down here, I have, this is like my little <laughs> tool center, um, so I have a steeple gun that I'm, I was planning on using to upholster the, um, the shelves with but I forgot to buy staples for them so I have to go to Home Depot tomorrow to do that so instead 
Um, and yes, my house shoes are right here. They're shiny colored and my like outdoor shoes are also shiny colored. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is actually just clean off the racks because they're all dusty so I want to clean those off and then today I'm just gonna be adhering the lights or at least testing the LED lights so just wanted to give that little update okay so what I have right here are several of the shelves that I'll be using for my display case I have all the shelves except for two of them because those two are going to be on the top of the case and so what I'm doing right now is very sloppily uh, measuring out, mm, I use the word measuring very loosely, but I'm basically measuring out um, half inch squares at the corner of each shelf. Um, that's because I'm going to be using a jigsaw cutter to cut out those measurements so that the wires from the LED lights can easily pass through the shelves in the corner to um, eventually plug in at the bottom of the shelf so that I can have lights on my shelf. Um, without cutting out the corners, I wouldn't be able to track the cords for the lights and that's uh, the lights are a key aspect of the display case. So um, yeah, that's just what I'm doing here um, with just like a ruler and a Sharpie. And those are the very sloppy measurements, so I'm about to go cut them. So I had a video of me cutting the shelves, but it was too embarrassing. So here are some pictures of my hard work. There, I cut them. Okay, so the next step is to upholster the shelves. So I purchased two sets of black jersey full-size sheets. And so I'm going to be using the regular sheets to upholster the shelves, and then I'll be using the fitted sheets to upholster the backboards for the backs of the display cabinets. And so I'll be cutting out the sheets to size, and then I just staple the, um, the sheets to the shelves. And that should do just fine. I'm only doing these shelves and not the top shelves since the very top of the shelves won't be seen and nothing will be placed on top of them that's uh, open to the eye. Okay, so I have this next part sped up so fast because I think that this is the first shelf that I upholstered and I forgot to record myself when I started getting better. So this is just me not knowing how to use a staple gun <laughs> and just really desperately trying to figure out how to load it. Um, takes way longer than it should and please note that this whole thing is sped up 355 percent so just imagine the torture I experienced in real time trying to figure out how to load staples into a staple gun um, but so basically what I'm doing is just stapling the underside of the shelves of the shelves and um, I don't really care about pulling it too tight at this point because it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be pulling it tight on the other ends. Um, and don't worry, like I know that the sheet looks dirty, but I, I do clean it later. Um, one thing that I figured out that I needed to do um, before I started upholstering is to like really trim the sheets way more than I did because it just gives me so much hassle later on if I don't trim it beforehand. Um, yes, that's me getting into the splits. I'm getting really into it. Um, I know it looks really <laughs> bad on the underside but like you're not gonna see it I, I don't really care about it although I will say on the shelves that I built for my statue uh, display case the underside of those shelves look really really good I really took care to um, like fold the undersides make them line up and put a border on the underside um, but that was mainly because that shelf is much taller than this one and even when I'm sitting in my desk chair um, and looking at the underside of well not looking at the other side but even when I'm sitting down and looking at my shiny display case I can't see the underside of the shelf so I don't really care 
so long as no part of the sheet is like hanging down um then you can't see it it, it really doesn't matter but this is like the world's <laughs> sloppiest job it's my first go around um and right now this part i'm just making sure that i pull that part really tight so that um there's still that divot for the cables for the light to go through but yeah this is <laughs> this is the situation and it's a, it's a tough looking one it looks rough but i promise you the end result will be much much better hopefully Okay, so this is what the display cabinet looks like with the shelves on. And this is with the lights in there and weave through the corners. And then this is what it's like with the lights on. Um, and then the very next step, oh my goodness, okay. So this is with the acrylic panels attached. Y'all, it was exhausting and so frustrating. Um, getting the acrylic panels together i couldn't even record it um but it was absolute hell i would just suggest watching some of the videos that i linked um to get an understanding of how to create the acrylic panels um in a way that's way more helpful than what i could ever hope to show because i did not know what i was doing and it was wild but i got it together somehow Alrighty, so here we have it y'all this is my shiny display case uh, i have it at this angle because um my desk is right over there so it'd be it's way too close to the cabinet so i wouldn't be able to give you a full shot of what i have but yeah this is what we're working with so i'm just gonna go through and show you the cabinet in a little bit more detail so the top of the cabinet is a, a couple of different things so if you look right here i have two magazines this is keys beauty magazine and this is shiny um high cut magazine they are so freaking tall uh, like they cannot fit upright in any shelf that i have in my whole apartment so uh, until i figure out what to do with them they're just going to be laying flat um this is um the 2009 season's greetings um this is my this was my first piece of shiny merch and um yeah i love the photo shoot so much it brings back a lot of memories so um i am displaying it um over here that's my shiny uh sorry my key signed atlantis album and just a couple of things my favorite shiny picture and then right here are um just some shiny pins that i have in a shadow box and then um over here is one of my favorite johan calendars um obviously displayed to may or not may to october and then let's see down here in this cabinet or at least this first shelf is my like I don't know I guess maybe I call it my intro shiny shelf maybe I don't know what else to call it but I guess if you go in and just check out what's in here so I have it as um the first mini and then both versions of the first album along with some light sticks um the Japanese album five is in there. And like, I don't know, if y'all have any tips about how to display some of these things, I would really appreciate it. I think like I'm only really satisfied with this shelf and then my Jungian shelf, which is right over here, right next to it. And if we go in here, let's see, we have like a couple of fan DVDs. Um, we've got Skeleton Flower back there. That's like a sealed copy. And then up behind it, you might be able to see behind it um, is an unopened copy. So I can open it up and look through it when I want. Back there, we have an Inspired Kazoo. 
And um, I just saw this shiny colored dinosaur at um, Target. And when I see something that's shiny colored, I think of shiny, obviously. And then when I see a dinosaur, I obviously think of Jonghyun. Um, these are postcard books. So that's the inspired um, postcard book. And underneath that is X, Inspi uh, excuse me, X Inspiration postcard book. Um, this is just an inspired mug. The X Inspiration photo book. Fan stuff, light stick. This should be an inspired, yeah, inspired um, fan light. The soju glasses, handbell. Um, this really cute um, little doll. And then we have Jonghyun albums here. Um, and then underneath that is like a Temin and Jonghyun um, fan, like, like um, what am I trying to say? Like photo book, photo book, there we go. It's like a little mini photo book. And then we have SM, the ballad. And then right over here is um, my, uh, not card, my badge, the SM Global Package badge when I went to see Inspired. So I keep that badge in there. All right. And then going down to the next shelf. Um, the next shelf is like kind of mainly my Temin shelf. Um, so that's Sirius um, fan club album, not album, but Blu-ray. Yep, there's some Minho and there's some Japanese albums. We have Temin albums there. Let's see. And then back there is Never Gonna Dance Again. You can kind of see him back there. And then over here is like Onyu and Ki situation. So we have like Onyu stuff over here. And yes, there's some random Lucifer albums. Um, here's some more Ki. Got some Ki albums. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> That's that. And then the level below that, down here are, um, let's see, on this side, or well, the left side are Blu-rays, DVDs, box sets, situations. Um, we have just crap ton of albums. I, the problem is I kind of ran out of space. Um, with this case because I wanted to display more instead of just had the instead of having things piled up and all stacked up. So I lost a lot of storage space when I did that, but I think it's worth it. Over here, Seasons Greetings, Shiny First Photo Book. This is Seek album stuff, more photo books, photo card binders and a bunch of magazines, and then a bunch of magazines are in there. And then on this very bottom shelf, Seasons Greetings, and then just a whole bunch of shit is in there. And maybe I'll do a video about all the things that are in there, but I don't feel like talking about everything in there. And then on the very last shelf over here, let's see, on this side is a bunch of Super M stuff. And then we have like shiny stationary stuff right there. This is like overflow albums there, fan club kit. At the very bottom, underneath the fan club kit is the, um, oh geez, what is that? Super M, what is that? Super M magazines, more overflow. And then over here, I did like an unboxing, I guess, and it showed this um, poster. So I just put that poster in a frame. And then below that is probably after the 2009 calendar. This is my favorite calendar. Um, aesthetic wise, this is the 2012 calendar. And this is back when they were doing wall calendars and desk calendars. And I got the wall calendar. I really love this photo shoot. I think they all look terrific. And then underneath here, 
a, just a bunch of pickets and a bunch of shirts, sweatshirts and bags and things like that. And if you're interested in it, let me know and I can go through and show those as well. Um, yeah, y'all, but this is basically my shiny display case. Ooh, almost fell walking backwards. But yeah, this is basically my shiny display case. Um, yeah, I hope y'all like it. I'm, I, I'm really proud of it and I can't believe how, how nice it looks despite it being <laughs> my first display case and me being a real big amateur. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any tips about how I can better organize this or if you want to see the things that are right here on this bottom shelf um, or the things that are in this container. Um, yeah, but that's that. Thank y'all so, 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 so much for joining me and uh, doing this walkthrough with me. Um, I already showed you what was inside. So I guess I kind of want to show you some of the features, the features, some of the features of the cabinet. Um, so these are the acrylic panels right here. And there's one on all sides. So this is acrylic over here. Is acrylic as well there's not acrylic in between here although if I had to do it again I might have put something in it because this part like this space I wasn't anticipating I thought these would be able to kind of be but closer together but because my floors are uneven and for various reasons it didn't connect which means like this space is not dust proof um, which is a problem. So I may go back and put some weathering strips in between this and then cover it with the vinyl just to make it look seamless. Um, I think that might be a better look. Um, and then there's also acrylic on this side as well. Um, and so the panels are all removable. It's one gigantic panel. Um, because as in one of the videos I was reading, or excuse me, one of the videos I was watching, they were talking about how if you customize the panel for each shelf, then you're kind of locked in on the shelf size. And I thought that was a really good point and I didn't want to be locked in um, because like, what if I wanted to change it up? And to be honest, like I don't have money like that to be buying a thousand different panels each time I want to change it up that's like really wasteful so I decided to do one big panel um, and I wonder if I can show you with just one hand it's pretty easy to take off um, so over here I'll just show you it just kind of takes off right and then usually what I've been doing is then just putting it up on this side because the um, magnet goes through and then it can stay oh well usually it does performance anxiety there you go and now it stays on this side and then I can go and access everything in here and then oh so I guess while I'm here too I can show you the inside um let's see if you can see well over here okay yes yeah, so here's the lighting situation um oops some of the electrical tape is coming off but I covered it in electrical tape over here so that it the color blended in. I did have zip ties that I used to attach it to the corners, but that didn't really work out because it protruded too much and it prevented it, it prevented the mat like it, it made the whole panel jut out, so it prevented the magnets from reaching the metal. Um, but this is a good opportunity to kind of show you the inside. So if you look here, this is like squishy kind of. But it'll fill back out it's foam um and so this foam is just helping with the weathering it's like a weathering strip and so it just helps keep it dust proof so this runs the entire length of all panels so it even runs the length up top here and it runs the length down there down at the bottom as well um and so i have connectors running down here to connect to this top light and then there's a connector running down here to connect to this light 
and then a connector running down here to connect to the bottom light and then the power source runs out here down the bottom and into the back which is where the um outlet is um let's see anything else about the insides okay so if you can see here um this is the jersey material down here that i used i think that if i did this again i would use different material um because this looks a little faded to me like the black isn't as rich as i would want it to be to be honest um and i feel like it collects dust way too easily so that's really my only issue with that um yeah but i think i got the height of each shelf right like i knew that i wanted this one to be a little bit shorter and it would need to be a little bit shorter because this one was so tall like these two this second one and the third one needed to be tall because i knew i had lp situations and i also knew that i had really tall photo books and i had um binders and um magazines that i needed to fit um, but that's okay because I wanted like a dedicated Jonghyun spot and then like a little dedicated like general shiny spot and that's what these two top areas are and it's fine because they're they're smaller so just putting this panel back I usually line up the bottom first like that and then I just kind of see it's not lined up so you just kind of shimmy it over it's way easier with two hands, trust me. But yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Like I'm really happy the way it looks. Oh, and the light, turning the light switch on and off. So one thing that I wish I had done was I wish I had the foresight to get like a smart like outlet or like plug-in or something like that so that I could just use an app to turn on my lights or an app to, um, yeah, an app to turn off my lights or something like that. I didn't do that. So I had to use an area down here to turn the lights on and off. So I just click this and then click that and it turns the lights off. And then I just click it again. Oopsie. I click it again to turn it on, on, on. And I kept these on for a couple of hours today because I was just curious about the heat and they don't overheat. They don't get hot um, that quickly. So I'm obviously very pleased with that. But yeah, these are, these are the cabinets. Um, I really love them. And I started building another one for my statues like it's it's not k-pop related but i have um like comic book um uh, like comic book and cartoon statues so um i started building a case for those as well um but yeah that's what we got y'all thank you so much for for tuning in i really appreciate it um let me know your thoughts bye